Broadcast production has been around for a very long time. And broadcast and post-production have been very separate for also a very long time, where the broadcast would happen, whether it be a sporting event or an award show, and you would capture this content, it would go live on air, and then all that content would then get captured back and maybe sent to a post facility or an HQ in which they would edit it maybe a day or days or weeks later to get some posts out and, uh, and reuse that content that was captured as a part of the broadcast. This day and age, things are moving much more quickly. So with the advent of YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, the need for repurposing that content that shot in a live production uh, needs the turnaround needs to be much higher. So how companies were doing this was they were then taking the editors and they would put be putting them on site at a broadcast uh, event uh, and then having those editors work with that content on site. Now because it's broadcast, it's very ad hoc. So you would have uh, shuttle drives that were coming in off of the cameras or you would then need to transport that to your different editors and they would be only be able to edit one-to-one -one on the content footage that they have and they didn't have access to all the content footage. Recently, we were privileged to work on a very high-profile multi-stage event where Open Drives backed a full broadcast um, multi-stage event uh, and we hosted a production hub there. And that production hub had 10 editors where we were capturing content uh, from the live broadcast onto an EVS. The EVS was then sending that footage to an open drive system where we were capturing that live content and the editors could then attach to the open drive system and edit in real time as that content was becoming available with growing files. Um, this initially was a proof of concept and, and we discovered that it worked very, very well. Uh, so they were able to turn around that live broadcast into post material for direct publication to the internet very quickly. Uh, moving forward, we're going to be evaluating even more aggressive and more innovative workflows where we would be able to capture that content from an EVS onto open drives, then replicate that data from the on-site location over a high-speed network to a home base and then all the editors could be sitting at that home base and editing in near real time. Um, the advantage of this is that you're not gonna need to ship your editors around the world. You're not gonna have to set up full production facilities on site at an event. Um, and also there may be multiple events happening at the same time in different geographic locations, and yet you don't have to spread your creative workforce out over these multi-location sites, and you can all house them in one location, and then they can get their content that they need to edit um, as quickly as possible.